Step one, make sure that you've got your full kit contents. It's the OFDC V8 closure. It's your blanking plugs and cable ties packed in a bag. It's your fixing and cable retention plate in another bag and gel block. So to open the closure, you need a screwdriver and it opens by the six retaining clips, top, middle and bottom. And the tray is inside the closure. Next step, get the two self tappers and install them into the top of the closure in this position here, in this position here. Don't tighten them at this stage, you just need one full turn. Take the gel block with the head of the screw facing towards you. Take the fiber tray and then click into the gel block until you hear it click. Okay, preparation of ultra lightweight cable for a loop through. Take two meters of cable. Mark the start and the end of your two meter mark. Then using the miller tool, strip along the, the line of the cable. Okay, cut the sheath uh, at the central point and then remove all of the water blocker. And then cut back on the sheath, but not all of the way to the marker, like this. Okay, on the anchor bracket, you've got four positions. The two outside ones are for the branch and the two inside ones are for the feeder loop through. So measure your cable jacket from the anchor point to the saddle clamp position. Okay, next stage, we need to trim away the top part of the jacket. Um, to enable you to clamp it in the saddle clamp. So what you need to do is trim around, trim the plastic away around the metal messenger, but try not to expose the messenger itself. Fixing the cable to the bracket, you need a Jubilee clip, fixing it to this inside piece here. cable bracket slots into the, the rear of the, the fibre tray in these two positions here and two there. Okay, 
when it's in position, it can't be lifted out. So the two cables, uh, loop through cables are lined up with the, the feeder ports here. So in this case, we've got two empty ports uh, for the branches on the left and the right. So the branch empty ports need to be filled using the blanking plugs. Then click the gel lock back in. Okay, take the element that you need to splice, cut it at the center point. And then the remainder elements can be stored in the rear tray. Cable tie the loop through the spool. Strip your element 140 millimeters from the butt of the cable. Okay, when stripped, clean away the gel. and then route the element to the front of the tray. Through this channel here. So the element can be fixed with a cable tie at this point here. and then the fibre routed to the bottom tray where the input of the splitter leg is located. Okay, to install the tray back into the closure, close the splice trays down, tie up the Velcro strip, locate the slots at the top of the tray here and here, and then at a 45 degree angle, position them into the closure, into the self tappers that you installed earlier. push into position. Next, with a Phillips screwdriver, locate the bottom screw here and tighten the tray to the closure. Then gently tighten the self-tappers, but not too much. Install the blanking plugs into the drop ports. And close the dome lid. Again, 
using a screwdriver to close with the six retaining clips.